This is a little bit of an unusual recipe. For one thing, it's braised turkey, which is obviously not traditional, but it's really good, and I urge you to try this. Second thing is that it takes a bit of time, and it's a tiny bit more complicated than most minimalist recipes. So I'm going to have to take things a little bit out of order. I'm going to start by boning this turkey breast. What you want to do is locate the center of the breastbone, easy enough to find, right? And just cut the meat off of that, going down first one side and then the other. And if you have a good sharp boning knife or a paring knife, all you have to do is follow that rib cage down. You're not going to do a perfect job, as you can already see, neither am I, but it's going to come out really, really nice. Pulling the meat back so you can see where the bones are. There. That's one. Other side, same thing. Basically, you're trying to get the point of the knife right against the rib cage. If you encounter any bones, just go outside of them. And obviously, this carcass is a beautiful component of a stock, so you're not going to throw it out. There you go. We're going to brown both of these skin side down really well. And in the meantime, I'll show you the big picture here. Whether you cook this breast in olive oil or you do it the other way that I'm going to show you later, the pan should be hot, and you want to just let it sit there until it gets nice and brown on the skin side. You're not even going to worry about the other side. Cook it until that skin is brown and crisp. As I said, we're taking things a little bit out of order, but this is the dish. And basically, it's browned and braised turkey thighs and breasts. And there's so many advantages to this, it's incredible. For one, you can cook the breasts and the thighs at a different rate. And that will wind up with very, very tender dark meat and nice, moist, beautifully sliced white meat. What I started off doing was browning the thighs. And you can buy turkey thighs in any supermarket. And then I cooked a melange of different vegetables. Here we have um, shiitake mushrooms, dried mushrooms, carrots, celery, onion, and sausage and pancetta, which are not exactly vegetables, but they're aromatic and they add flavoring. And then slowly roasted the thighs and the vegetables with a little bit of liquid, stock or water, keeping the liquid off of the top parts of the thighs so that that skin stays crisp. And now I bake that, but because it's liquid, we call it braising. I braise that for a couple of hours until these thighs are really, really cooked and tender, almost done. When the breasts are nicely browned, we're going to make some room for them in here. I'm going to lay these right on top here. Now everyone knows that breasts cook much more quickly than thighs. By the time this is all done, say a half an hour or more from now, these thighs will be, they'll be like pulled pork. They'll be so tender, they'll just fall right off the bone and the breast meat will just slice really beautifully. You'll see. Well, la-di-da. Look at that. Chicken breast cooked for maybe half an hour, thighs for over two hours. Let's put this together. The result should be, is, breast that's nice and juicy, not overcooked, really pretty. See? And you can see, nice and moist. Okay. And we'll attack one of these thighs. Now this, really, really soft. Our so-called vegetables, that is our mixture of vegetables and pork products. I think the mushrooms really do a great job. So, browned and braised turkey parts. This may be unconventional, well, if you're serving it on Thanksgiving, it's way unconventional, but you gotta try it. It's really amazing. <laughs>